Okay, this is a video for one of the uh, L'Hopital's problems, problem number seven from our uh, Schoology Extra Practice. This is a problem that I attempted to do the other day in class. I ran into a little snag. Uh, Maddie, you were completely correct. There is a way to write this function uh, into a fraction form using some of the uh, trig functions, trig inverses that we know. So let's take a look at uh, what we're going to do with this first. So let's write this as limit as x approaches 0 from the right. And we're going to say f of x equals 5 tan x to the sine x. Now because we have sine x in the, uh, in the exponent, we're going to take the natural log of each side. Uh, before I do that, though, I want to divide by 5. So I'm going to just write this. I'm going to do it all at the same time. So natural log of f of x divided by 5. Right? I divided the 5 first, then I took the natural log. Equals uh, natural log of tan x to the sine x. And we do that so that we can bring the sine x to the front using the log laws. So we have natural log of f of x divided by 5 equals, and bring the sine x to the front, we have sine x natural log tan x. Now this is where, this is where the, the problem occurred. So I was struggling to write this into a fraction form to use L'Hopital's rule. Maddie says, hey, can we use the, uh, any of the trig functions uh, to, basically the trig reciprocal functions in order to rewrite this as a fraction? I couldn't think of what I, uh, the function I needed to use, but the function I need to use is actually sine of x equals, the reciprocal identity is one over cosecant x. So if I rewrite this as one over cosecant x, I end up with one over cosecant x times natural log tan x, which then I can write that as natural log tan x over cosecant x. And now we're in a really good spot to use L'Hopital's rule, so let's apply that, L'Hopital's. So as we use L'Hopital's rule, we're going to get uh, derivative on top is going to be 1 over tan x. Right, derivative of natural log is 1 over tan x. Times the inside function, so Derivative of tan is secant squared. So this is a, this would be a chain rule there. So one over tan times secant squared. And then if we do the derivative on the bottom, right, for L'Hopital's rule, derivative of cosecant is uh, negative cosecant x cotangent x, I believe. And then from there, yes. Yeah, so and then from there, what we can do is we can start to simplify these things. So let's go ahead and I'm going to slide this over a little bit, and let's go equals. And let's write this as secant squared x over tan x over negative cosecant cotangent. Well, we can sort of combine some of this together. We can write this as, this would be negative 1 over sine x times uh, cotangent is cosine over sine. So cosine x over sine x. This will give you negative cosec. Well, let's rewrite this. This would be negative uh, secant. No negative there. I'm going to write the top secant squared x over tan x. And then on the bottom, we get negative 1 or negative cosine x over sine squared x. So now what we can do is we can flip and multiply here 
and we'll get secant squared x over tan x times, well, when we flip and multiply here, we'll get sine squared, so negative sine squared x over cosine x. If I were to If I were to take this, sine over cosine is tangent, isn't it? Yeah, so I can write this as secant squared x over tan x times, this would be negative tan x and then sine x. The tans cancel and I'm left with negative secant squared x sine x. And now let's see what we can do from here. We can say that well, we know secant squared is what? 1 over cosine squared. So we can actually write this as sine x, so negative sine x over cosine squared x. And this is where the fun begins. We go back to our limit, which our limit was as x approaches 0 from the right. We plug 0 in here. Sine of 0 is 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. So we end up with negative 0, which is just 0. And because we end up with 0, remember, that's the 0 for the natural log of f of x divided by 5. So what I've got to do is I've got to then take the natural log f of x divided by 5 and I have to set that equal to 0 and I have to go through and do some algebra on this to find the actual limit. So I do e to the natural log so e to the natural log and then e to the zero power. e to the natural log cancels and I'm left with f of x over five equals e to the zero, anything to the zero is one. Multiply by the five, I end up with f of x equals five. So my limit, if we go back to the beginning, my limit as x approaches zero from the right, x approaches zero from the right of this function ends up being just five. And all I had to do was at this step right here, rewrite that as a fraction, and then I would have L'Hopital's rule and I could go through and do some trig simplification. I might, I, we could have probably simplified this trig, uh, this these trig functions a little easier than what I did right there. Um, but we got to the answer that we wanted to get to anyways.